Hey everybody, today I'm going to be talking about skate bearings, roller blade bearings, hockey skate bearings, roller skating bearings like quads or skateboard bearings. They're all the same, they're all the same type of bearing. So they're all 608 sized bearings, which is just the size of the actual bearing like this way. And so I'm going to talk about the mainly the ABEC rating, which starts at ABEC 1. And then it goes to ABEC 3, and then it goes to ABEC uh, 5, 7, 9, and then Swiss. So I'm going to talk, talk about all those uh, different ratings and tell you a little, about, a little bit about each one. And yeah, so let's get into it. So it starts with ABEC 1, which ABEC 1 is the worst you can get. It's a kind of actually hard to find bearing because it is so bad. You can only really find it on like either really cheap skateboards or really cheap skates or whatnot. And you pretty much don't want, want to use that really. But ABEC 3s, they start to be used more commonly with more like roller blade, uh, roller blades and skateboards and uh, stuff like that. And that's uh, going to spin a little bit faster. So the higher the number, the better it's going to spin. The longer it's going to spin in your wheel. And that's obviously the better because you're going to get more glide or push off when you're skateboarding or whatever. So and then it goes to ABEC 5. And now this is, you see a pretty big jump from five or uh, three to five. And five spins quite good. It is a like pretty hardy type of bearing. You can use it for a long time. You can use all these bearings for a long time. It's just the tolerance gets tighter on each bearing, which means that it's more precise, obviously, once. So like on this bearing, this is a Swiss bearing. This is gonna have a really high tolerance. Oops, it wasn't in camera. So this is gonna have a really high tolerance opposed to something like this over here. This is just an ABEC 7, but opposed to like an ABEC 3 or 5. So fives are a really good bearing. You can use them for a lot of stuff. Um, you don't have to worry too much because they are a cheaper type of bearing. If you just want to soak them in gas and put speed cream or whatever you want in them, um, whatever your preferred method of loop is. Now these are, and then it goes up to ABEX 7, which ABEX 7 is pretty much your medium type of quality bear, bearing. It's closer to uh, ABEC 9 than ABEC 5. They spin really good. They'll uh, last you also a really long time. Same goes for all these bearings, but they're going to uh, they're going to spin for, whoop, they're going to spin for a long time. They're quite precise. They don't uh, they don't like wear out as quick just because of the tolerance is tighter as ABEC 5 bearings. Because what's happening is it's a whole bunch of different little like balls around. Actually, let me uh, take one of these sleeves off and I can show you guys what it actually looks like inside of that bearing. Never do this. Use a push pin instead, a thumbtack. But I don't have a push pin out here. And so. Okay, uh, I pulled the wrong side off. Let me pull this side off so I can show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. So what's going to happen is all these little ball bearings are going to wear out and wear down. And also the sleeve, this thing, uh, this ring thing, is also going to wear out and it's going to start to have kind of like a loose bearing. It's kind of going to start to wiggle a lot more. And yeah, you're, it's just going to cause you a lot of trouble if you soak them in gas a lot or ride in dirt and then soak them in gas because that dirt's going to grind the ball bearings down and that sleeve part and then it's going to obviously when you remove the dirt it's going to be looser than it originally was so you can uh, clean them with gas that's usually what I do for all my outdoor bearings when I do clean them and then I just lube them up with some bone speed cream and you can use WD-42, but that uh, does kind of like bind up after a while, then you'll have to soak it in gas again and do it uh, all again, you know? So then we go up to ABEC 9s, and this is probably the most commonly used bearing in hockey skates, roller skates, that type of thing. And so this is a Tour Gold 9. This is like Tour's uh, 
not proprietary, like their own branded bearing of pro product bearing, and they don't spin very good, but yeah, they're ABEC 9s, they call them gold 9s, they're the equivalent of an ABEC 9 rated bearing. So ABEC 9 is going to be your highest without going to Swiss. So this is probably going to be your best bang for your buck. It's going to be probably about $20 a set if you get a uh, median uh, price to set. And also if you get a skate, if you're getting it for rollerblades, you're going to have to get two sets of skateboard packs because they come in packs of uh, eight for a skateboard because two on each wheel so that's eight obviously four times two is eight um so you're going to need obviously 16 for a skate wheel because you do not only have four wheels you have eight wheels so you will need two sets of that depending on which set you get um, I don't really recommend like really expensive bone sets if you just generally get like a Swiss set if you want a really nice set It's not going to change that much from going to uh, A really nice Swiss set or going to a really nice like bones Set you can get those ones. I don't know if my brother has them the ones where they have six six uh little ball bearings in there opposed to I believe these all have eight or seven I can't remember but yeah so that's that but all that changes as you go up on the spectrum is the uh, tolerance of the bearing and they'll just wear out uh, slower and they'll just overall be better they'll be way faster you should notice a big difference once you go from an ABEC 1 if you have an ABEC 1 all the way up to a Swiss but like I said ABEC 1s are probably more rare than ABEC 3s or 5s so you'll notice for sure a big difference if you go from that even up to a 7 you'll notice that so yeah basically the higher the number the better and then once it goes to Swiss then Swiss is just the best out of pretty much any of them and also if you can afford it bones reds bearings are really good or just bones bearings in general and but if you're under fifty dollar or yeah under fifty dollars with bones bearings I'd probably recommend just getting these because then bones is gonna start to lower their quality a little obviously too because it is a lower end bearing and so this is a this is a really nice bearing. These are Mission Hilo Swiss bearings, Swiss LEs. Um, so that, that's my best bearings I have. I don't usually use any of the Swiss, or I don't use any of the Bones bearings, just because I'm content with my Swiss ones and they're a little bit cheaper. And yeah, so I just wanna show you a little bit of how they go in the wheel also. So I have another video on wheels as well. And uh, I also have a video on how to change your bearings. So yeah. So you're gonna when you pull, take your your wheel off your skate, you're gonna see one of two things. You're gonna see a bearing like uh, one minute. Let me grab an Allen right here. You're gonna see something that looks like. this or you and let me just go ahead and pop it out so you can see there's this let me have a focus here so this right here that little line inside there that's the thing i just put in there that's your spacer and that's going to just make it so that your uh all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh show you how to take his part you can use your spacer if you don't have or your uh, skate axle if you don't have a skate tool your skates should come with one so you can just push this right up against that rim right there and what this is oops i'm sorry you can't see i was off uh camera so you're going to push this right up against that rim of the spacer like i already showed you with the spacer looks like um let me get that on there i don't normally do it this way just because i do have a skate tool but yeah let me Okay, and you're just gonna push. It's gonna be kind of hard. And you'll notice that your bearing did come out like this on the other side. So now you can either just take your axle and pry it out, or, whoops, excuse me. Um, you can just pry it out, or however you wanna get your axle out, or your bearing, I mean. And so you'll see one of two things when you do, when you get your bearing open. You'll see something that looks like this, 
where you'll see a short floating spacer, which actually you couldn't see a short floating spacer if you did it this way or if you did, yeah, like I just showed you because the short floating spacer either looks like this or, and I don't have another one to show you, but it has like a, a rim, like a mohawk looking thing all the way around it this way. So they work the same though. This just kind of falls in the wheel, which I'll show you in a minute. So, but you'll see one of two things. You'll see it looks like this, or you'll see it and it looks like, um, come on, get straight. Okay, you, you'll look at your thing and you'll see that it looks like some, somewhat like this. This is why I don't like uh, tour spacers slash axles, just because it does fall down in there like that. So you can uh, go like this, like that right there, because when you're holding it like that and it's falling down, you can just push it like that, push it straight in and that'll push it against the rim and it'll push both parts out. Or you can do it this way, which I'm about to show you. You can stick your uh, uh, Allen key or your axle in here like this, and you just pry this out. And either way works fine. There's space. There's different ways. However you want to do it. So that's how it goes in. It's going to be pretty much the same, uh, aside from minor differences with. Hockey skates, roller blades, skateboards, uh, quads, whatever type of skate you have. And but that's the ABEC rating. I figured I would talk about that a little bit. And if you learned anything in this video, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and comment anything and questions you got or anything in the comment section. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. -bye.